Hey everyone, this is Untold Force, and today I'm going to show you how to use the mini stick on any VKB device as a mouse, and you're going to be able to use it as a left click and as a POV um, or whatever you desire. So we're just going to start with the uh, most common VKB device, which is the Gladiator. Um, I have a Gladiator Evo, um, but this could work on the Gladiator NXT, um, also the Omni Throttle variant. Can work on anything and i'm just going to show you the general principles involved but before we get started i want um, everyone to make sure that you back up your current configuration because if you make a mistake it's always a good idea to go back so i'm going to save this as uh i'm just going to name it with uh, mini stick working and now that I've saved it, I'm going to default it. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this to show you that I am going back to the very, very, very beginning. Um, but you know what? Before that, let me make sure that uh, everybody uh, has an idea of what we're working with. So um, you should download the VKB device configuration software. There are a bunch of versions online, and your version may not look exactly like mine. And that's OK. Um, I it, most of the principles will extend to uh, pretty much all of the relatively modern uh, software versions out there. But just in case you don't have it, download the VKB Dev Config or Device Configurator. Um, you can get that from the official VKB website. And once you download that, um, you know, we're just going to launch it. Make sure you have the correct version for your uh, firmware. My firmware version is probably going to be different than yours, and that's OK. As I mentioned, um, we just want to make sure that we have the device configurator downloaded. All right, so now that that's downloaded, I'll move this out of the way. As I mentioned, I'm going to re-default my stick, so that way we're starting from scratch. So I'm going to click Default. And now we'll go to the Evo R. It's going to probably tell me that I need to configure it. All right, I'm configuring it. And finally, it's going to tell me, hey, you need to con you need to calibrate your stick. And just in case you haven't calibrated your controller, it's pretty easy. I'm just going to go to the test page here, axes, and you want to move the stick slowly from right to left a couple times, up and down, rotate the twist function, if you have that availability or if you haven't locked it out, then we're also going to use the little mini throttle. That is the mini throttle on the base. It's like the little paddle. And finally, calibrate your uh, mini stick. So you have to press in on the mini stick to uh, open up the analog mode. The little red light on the mini stick should go on. And then move it up and down, left and right a couple times. And that should end calibration. So now let's make sure that uh, everything is good. I'm going to check this out. Go to axes and make sure that our our device looks like it's well calibrated. Perfect. Great. And we're going to check that mini stick axis as well. Great. Okay. So everything seems to be well calibrated. Now we're going to go on to the fun part. First things first um, is that we have to go to the global tab at the bottom. And on the global tab, we will enable the mouse. So we're going to click mouse. And there you have off, relative, absolute, R and A. We're going to use relative. And then the active status should be set to always on. And I'm going to change the speed to 1 just because of my own preferences. And at this point, because we're making a change on the global page, we have to go to action at the top here and select the set button. That will now enable the mouse. You can tell that the mouse has been enabled because in the VKB device configuration software, you'll now notice that it says hid compliant device two in brackets. That's again for my uh, Gladiator Evo. That means that it's loading both the game controller and it's also creating a virtual mouse for your PC. So you have two different uh, HID devices or human interface devices loaded from just one game controller, which is a really powerful uh, uh, option for the VKB devices. 
All right, now that we have a mouse, we have to figure out how we're gonna uh, use it. The first thing we'll do is figure out what button the switch is. So let's see, the switch right here, micro stick is switch, uh, or is uh, button 13. So we're gonna keep that in mind for later. And we're gonna enable our mouse. So I'm going to go to POVs now. This is just shows you the POV, the default POV that you have. And I'm gonna create a mouse. So I'm gonna go to POV type on number two. I'm gonna select low res four way. And the output is going to be mouse relative. Now this is where a lot of people make a mistake because uh, this VC number is the virtual controller number. And by default, it comes up to number two, which means you're gonna have some real problems. So we're gonna switch that to VC number one. And we're gonna change the axes here to reflect the same axes that your mini stick uses. In this case, we can look at the POV. The POV is using axes five and six. So we're gonna set the same thing. So go to five. And now we're gonna use five and six for the axes. You also have a dead zone that you can configure. You've got plenty of options. Um, we can play around with those later. But we just wanna make sure that these things are all configured properly. So now that those are configured properly, I'm going to go and set the stick or set the um, write the parameters to the device. So now we should have the mouse is really in POV number two position, and we can switch that as needed. But to prevent games from discovering the analog axes accidentally, we're gonna to go to the axes tab. Again, this is under profile axes, and we're gonna turn off the visibility for axis five and six. So if you notice, there's a bunch of different check boxes here, and uh, the VS uh, checkbox or VS column means that it's visible to the computer. And we don't want that because we want this to remain as a mouse whenever we're doing that. So we're gonna uncheck VS. And just for uh, good, good practice, I'm just going to write the parameters one more time before we get into the button setup. So now when I go to test, you won't see the axes for that device whenever I move it in, in analog mode because we don't want to pass that on. But in some cases, some people may want to do that. That's, a, that's up to you. Um, in this case, I'm not going to. And I'll, I'll show you a few more things. So let's move on to configuring the buttons. So we already went over and established that the micro stick mode switch is on button 13. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, uh, use a Boolean to create a virtual copy of that button. And we're gonna put it into one of the free button spaces. And for me, I'm just gonna create it in button 121 because that's a convenient place to put it. You can put it in any one of these grayed out buttons. Um, now, again, I'm looking at the button's physical layer. So we're going to duplicate physical layer button 13 to physical layer button 121. And we'll do that with the Boolean. So I click the Boolean tab, and I select the first blank Boolean. And I'm going to pull this over here. And you can see that you've got a whole bunch of different functions or operators. So we're going to select the not operator. And... I'm going to select button 13. So you can do that either by using the up and down buttons or by clicking on the button number tab to bring up a list of them. And I'm just going to select 13 here. And we're going to output to physical 121. So I'm going to go to physical. Now it's switched it to green. And double click here. I'm going to go to 121. Great. So now we have physical 13 is copied over to physical 121. Let's go and take a look at that in the buttons tab. Great. Now we'll configure these two buttons. First things first is that we're going to switch button 13 from using the default mode, which is U stick switch. Um, the switch function is provided by button alt. We're going to use this drop down and switch it to tempo B. Tempo B is going to mean that a long press will switch between the mode functions for the micro stick. And this button right here, POV mode on start, needs to be checked. Otherwise, it won't work. So 
going to close that out here. And we're going to now open up button 121, which is the virtual copy of button 13. We're going to set it up very, very, very similar fashion. We're going to drop down this, switch to U stick switch. And now we're going to do switch is tempo B. Make sure this is unchecked. The POV mode on start should be unchecked. And we're going to select POV 2 here. And now that Button 13 will be POV 1, and it's uh, Tempo B. P uh, physical button 121 is now POV 2 with Tempo B, switching between them. Now we'll click Set, and we'll test it out. The way to test this out is pretty straightforward. We'll go to the Test page. Now you can see your POV here. By default, we should be loading into POV mode, which we are. As you can see, the little red arrows in the POV are moving whenever I move this. And if I press and hold on the micro stick for a little bit, the red light on the micro stick itself comes up and then I'm able to go and move it around as a mouse. This is me using the stick as a mouse, not the, uh, well, my regular mouse. So if I press and hold it again, I should go back into POV mode. Great, half of the puzzle is done. We can switch between the POV and the mouse mode. But I promised you that we would be able to use the buttons, or sorry, the button on the micro stick uh, still, and that it would work as a left click, which it doesn't do yet. To set that up, we need to go and find one other thing, and that is under the global tab. So again, at the bottom left, you click Global, then go to External, and then on the left-hand side, we're going to click LEDs. This could be in the external device thing, so make sure you click this button right here, the LED. Now we're going to look for POV Active Event, and note what number it is. So in this case, it's LED 4, or Event 4 is POV Active, and it's inverted. So you can always change that if you want, but you're going to have to change all your booleans around. We're just going to go with the default option that is POV active is going to be LED event 4. And whenever the POV active is going to be red. So in this case, um, whenever it's in mouse mode, the red light on the Gladiator, uh, sorry, the uh, SCG should be illuminated. So we're going to, we have that information again. LED event four. I'm going to go to profile. Now we're going to go to Boolean. And we're going to use the boole uh, Booleans to create a new set of physical buttons. In this case, we need two buttons, one for a short press on the micro stick whenever we're in POV mode, and the other one is going to be a short press on the micro stick whenever we're in mouse mode. So we're going to select two and and remember, our, P our micro stick switch is button 13. So I'm going to select 13 here. And now, instead of using a physical button, what we're going to do is we're going to use the LED event. And we're going to use LED event 4, which is what we figured out here. So we've got this, this, and now we're going to output it to a physical button. I'm just going to use the next available one, which is 122. And one of these is going to be inverted, and the other one's not going to be inverted. And we can figure this out um, easily. But I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to recreate it. You can also use the copy function to copy one boolean to another. But I'm just going to do it by hand again. So we're going to do two and again. We're going to use button thirteen and LED event number four. And we're going to output this one to the next physical button, which is 123. Now, one of these will have to be inverted. Now, which one is going to be inverted? Can you guess? I can't, so I'm going to test it out. <laughs> I'm going to invert one of these and see what happens. So we're going to invert the LED function and see what is what. Because you can either go and think, think it through, or you can test it. And in my case, I just want to test it out. So these are exact duplicates of each other, these two booleans, except that one of them has the LED event inverted and the other one doesn't. And we can go to test and find out what's going on. So 
we're in POV mode, as you can see by moving the POV stick around. I'm going to short press and see that in POV mode, it's firing 120, button 122, button 121, and button 13. I'll do that again a couple of times so you can see all of those buttons are all lighting up. Now I'm going to long press and switch it to the mouse mode. And now if I press it, it's firing 123, 121, and 13. Now we don't want that. We, we don't want that for either of them because we don't want three physical buttons firing every time we press the mini stick. So to change that, we're going to go to Profile, Buttons, and now on the logical layer, we're going to turn off button 13. So I clicked on button 13 on the logical layer, and I'm going to select No Function. Now I'm going to do the same thing with button 121. I'm going to select No Function. So neither of these will trigger whenever you press the stick, meaning that we only have one button output for every button for each input on the mini stick, which is a, what I want. The next thing we want is we want this button, which we just tested and found out that button 122 goes off whenever it's in POV mode, which means that we're going to check this and set it to button 13. So this is us just setting up this output for um, physical button 122 is going to be remapped to button 13, which we just removed. So that's just setting up the standard short press on the mini stick when it's in POV mode. Now, a short press on the mini stick in mouse mode, we want it to perform a left click action. So we're going to select the mouse mode, which is 123 button. And instead of it being a button, we're going to choose mice. Those are our mouse actions. And we're going to select left button. So that is whenever we click or do a short press on the mini stick in mouse mode, it will be a left click. So let's go and set that and see what we get. All right. So we'll test it out by going to test. Let's move our POV around. That's great. And now if I press on the POV, you can see I'm pressing on the POV short press. It's lighting up 13, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm going to do a long press to switch it to mouse mode and voila, it works. Now to test it in mouse mode, I'm going to see if I can select the axes. Oh, great. This works perfect. I'm using the joystick itself as a mouse to go around and select all the things that I need just by doing a short press. So everything is working as I want it to. So at this point, I'm going to save this as mouse click two because I've already saved it once. But now my Gladiator Evo uh, has the mouse functionality on the uh, mini stick. And it's set up just the way I want it. I haven't removed any functions. I can still use the POV. I can still use um, even the, the short press functionality in POV mode. And in mouse mode, it'll be a left click. And if you have any questions, please see the link in the description to go to the VKB Discord. The VKB software is extremely powerful, and you can do pretty much anything you want with it. It can be a little intimidating at first, so I recommend playing around with it. And also, um, just to, for the record, I'm not being paid by VKB <laughs> or anything. I just like this product, and I find that their game controllers are some of the best quality out there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you learned something. And uh, if you have any questions, hop onto the Discord. I'm on there. My, uh, you can just tag me as Force or Untold Force, and I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, and I'll borrow Scott Manley's wonderful thing that says fly safe, and also thank you to the mod Dead Walking uh, from the Discord for teaching me all these things. Take care.